peut-être qu'on a la trace d'une maison gauloise il y a 2000 ans. These kids dressed in their best archaeologist outfits are helping staff at Paris's City of Sciences Museum get to grips with some of their most famous forebears. The idea is to understand the Gauls, the Celtic people who lived in France before the Roman invasion. And that starts with some hands-on investigation work. We are learning how to search in the ground for colors and objects. The aim is for the children to understand that archaeology isn't just looking for objects, but it's more trying to understand how people used to live in a particular era, how people buried their dead, how they made bread, how they made swords. From Asterix to Gaulois cigarettes, French culture is full of popular images about the Gauls, seen as long-haired, blonde warriors with a penchant for mead and wild boar. Turns out most of that is nonsense. I thought the men were all fighters and the women were sort of housewives. No, the Gauls were refined, they shaved their beards off. They were a long way from prehistoric man and a lot closer to cultured Romans. Archaeology has revised the story quite a lot over the last 30 years. It's now well understood that the Gauls didn't have to wait till the Romans arrived to enjoy the benefits of civilization. People think that Gaul was just a few scattered tribes stuck between two forests. Not a bit of it. There were towns, cities, large settlements, which forces you to change your views on the Gaulish world, because one road in ten that exists today was still a road in Gaulish times. It seems Asterix and Obelix may have been a bit more sophisticated than we gave them credit for. And with more archaeological digs carried out here every time a new road or train line is built, our knowledge of the Gauls is set to grow and grow.